Kentucky original Bama football tailgate show. We've been doing this thing for years, and it's great to have all you guys with us as we talk Alabama football like we do, and we're getting ready for the Texas-Alabama game, and it's time for that pick segment brought to you by Pearl River Resort, our friends from Philadelphia, Mississippi, each week. Reagan from r r Cigars and the Wizard of Oz from out in Vegas. Kenny White joins us. Kenny White's power ratings. Uh, Kenny, I'm going to throw you on first. I, I want you to tell everyone about the power ratings, and then let's get into this week. Actually, it's the Joes versus Pros, and I got to tell you, Reagan had a pretty good week against us last time. Yeah, I think Reagan had all the winners, so – it's a long, it's a, it's a marathon though, Reagan. It's not a sprint. So relax over there. You know, yeah, the power ratings are out. The NFL's out. Uh, we start tonight and um, you get, you get all the power ratings for $20 a month. They're updated every week, projections for each game and then uh, win totals for each team throughout the season, college and the NFL. So keep up with those win totals. You got early lines. I get them out early in the week. So you can find differences in the, in the uh, power rating lines to the betting lines. That's how you make your money. But best value in sports, if you're a sports better, there's no need wasting $500 to buy somebody's picks. They're not going to get you any winners. But the power ratings kind of decide which picks you want to bet and what games you want to bet on. So that's that's the best way to go. Yep, no doubt about it. All right, let's start picking the games. We'll start with Ole Miss at Tulane, seven and a half. I'm going to bring on Reagan. Last week he was 4-0. and He's as hot as a firecracker. Uh, good to see you, Reagan. Right. Congratulations. It's a great week. It's a marathon, not a sprint. That's what that's what that's what slow people say. Um, <laughs> people that are behind have to say things like it's a marathon, not a sprint. So somebody was perfect, Mr. Perfect over here. But you know, I'm gonna go with um old miss. Uh, dude, it's Tulane. It's they, they, I don't overthink this one. Ole Miss is the better team by a lot. Everybody tells me Ole Miss has the best quarterback room in the country. I disagree, but if they have the best quarterback room in the country, surely they can beat Tulane by more than seven and a half points. So I will take Ole Miss. All right, Kenny, um, you, you're you're up seven and a half. Lane Kiffin scored 70 against Mercer last week. He's at Tulane. They won the Sugar Bowl last year. Yeah, so, you know, like my uh, sprint, and st- it's a marathon as a sprint. Also, I didn't have the games last week. I didn't know what games we were picking. So some of those games I didn't really have a chance to even look over. But this week's different. I asked you for the list of games. No excuses. So Reagan is already 0-1. Um, the best quarterback in the game is Tulane's quarterback, Michael Pratt. He's the best quarterback on the field. Uh, Tulane is just as good as Mississippi. Uh, they're going to win straight up. Forget about it. This is Willie Willie Fritz, Willie Fritz, the head coach. This isn't Tulane. This isn't Tulane. This is LSU junior. Um, they're they're, This team is loaded. Willie Fritz has built an amazing team. He's 30 and 12 ATS at home. Last year, he won at Kansas state at Houston at Cincinnati, he beat UCF in the championship game. He beat USC in the Heisman Trophy winner in the bowl game, and he's got everybody back. This team's going to win straight up. Tulane, Green Wave, winner. I take uh, a home dog every time. I'm taking – I'm giving me the seven and a half, uh, although it could be dangerous to do that after I just saw Ole Miss score 70 points against Mercer, but I'm with you, uh, Wizard of Odds. I, I'm going with them. All right, second game. Texas A&M, the new offense, new offensive coordinator at Miami, four and a half. I'm going to bring you on, Wizard, to start this thing off. Yeah, you know, Miami, uh, their quarterback, Van Dyke, was banged up all last year. I watched him two years ago. This guy's an NFL quarterback. Um, I, I don't think he was healthy. I don't think he was healthy in week one of the season. Uh, and not, I shouldn't say he looked healthy. I think he looked really rusty to me in that first game. And I'm going to bring it up. Look at his stats. That was against Miami of Ohio. Um, I think they played very conservative. They played very vanilla football. They didn't want to show Texas A&M anything. Jimbo Fisher's team vastly underachieved last year. I don't think they were much better the year before that. 
Um, he's done a great job recruiting, but I don't think anybody's coaching players up. I think this game is going to go down to the wire. I think it's going to be the last team to scores wins the game. So, yeah, give me the points with Miami of Florida in this game. All right. Let me bring, bring on Reagan. Reagan. What Kenny forgets is Jimbo Fisher loves to beat Mamie. Is that right? Mamie? It's not Miami. It's Mamie, I guess. Maybe. You know, spelling's not a big it is, deal. It is Mamie. Yeah. Put the Pearl River Resort at. There you go. Uh, Jimbo Fisher at FSU, 7-0 versus Miami. Um, it's not a home game for Miami. They're running BOGO offers. That's right, Miami fans. Buy one ticket, get one ticket free. They can't even sell out this game. Uh, that doesn't bode well for the Mario Cristobal's. Not a very good coach, not a very good team, not a very good quarterback. Um, Texas A&M beats them. It's not close. All right. Yeah, look, I, I'm with you. Uh, I agree. What do you mean? Where's the home dog at? Look, I, I know, but I, I just think that Texas A&M is going to run up the score on Miami. I, 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 I love a home dog, but not in this one. I, I'm going all Texas A&M. I just feel like Texas A&M, <laughs> they, they have a lot to prove. They have a lot of good players, and I love the fact that they've got Bobby Petrino as their offensive coordinator. He's kind of looking at the head coaching job there or somewhere else. He's got a, a lot to prove, and uh, I'm taking I'm taking the Aggies. Good. Kind of where I feel. All right, let's talk Alabama, and let's talk uh, Texas and Tuscaloosa. I'm going to start with you, Reagan, first. I see you got your Alabama hat on. What do you think? Alabama baseball hat that they never wear because, heaven forbid, we wear a white top. But anyway, uh, I think Alabama wins this game. I don't think it's close. I think Alabama wins like 42 to 14. 42 to 17. Wow. Um, I'm all in uh, on this team. I really think that it's going to, that Sark's going to have a very bad day uh, in his return to Tuscaloosa. And, you know, I, I like they showed them absolutely, they showed them absolutely, they literally ran it between the tackles last week and scored 55 points. I mean, so, you know, they did not, they, it was the most vanilla, like we said it on the show. We wanted to, I wanted to see the van, most vanilla offense possible. And it was the most vanilla, there was no seasoning in that offense last week. Um, so I think it's a, I think it's a similar story this week. Um, Milrow th- showed he can throw the deep ball and, <laughs> and he didn't even really have any designed runs last week. So, and his one non designed run was a 30 yard score. Um, so yeah, I think, I think Alabama wins. I think they win big. Uh, I don't think it's close. And, um, and then I, you know, when they win, I go four and zero again and I'm eight and oh, so. <laughs> All right, Kenny, you, you, right. you hear from Reagan. He's um, undefeated. He's taking Alabama big against Texas. What do you I'm think? Trying, trying to figure out that new math four and zero last week and three and zero this week equals seven, not eight, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like me spelling Miami wrong. <laughs> yeah, so that, that, ha- that happens. But hard to get four plus three. I get eight. a bonus if I get them all right. Oh, okay, oh, okay, oh. okay, okay. Well, I'm going to be uh, right there with you. I, roll Tide, Roll Tide. I have Saban's got it. You know, he's just – he is right now – he's uh, he's on edge. He wants to, you know, blow out everybody. He wants to be back in the national championship game tomorrow. Um, I think he has the team. Reagan said it last week that they wouldn't have to throw the ball to beat Middle Tennessee State. They did throw it 13 for 18 was Milrow. Um, 194 yards, three touchdown passes. He showed he's not just a runner. He can throw it. Um, they're, they're, they're the better team, and they're only seven at home. I think their home fields were at seven Alabama to play there. I, I, I think it's the too low of a line. I think they, get, they have Sark's number here. Quinn Ever is good quarterback, but you know what? They're going to be all over him. They're going to put pressure in his face, and uh, it's going to be a long day for him. Uh, Alabama, roll tide, roll. 
Yeah, look, Kenny, I'm with you. I, I just think that Alabama is going to find a way to win this football game. Last year, they had to struggle for a lot of their wins on the road, but not at home. I mean, they, they play pretty good football at home. This team's been motivated to prove that they're an Alabama team that can win a championship. You know, they're going to play uh, murder ball, you know, is what they said, you know, that joyless murder ball. And I, I think that starts uh, today. I think that they're going to go out there and 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 run the football uh, I think they'll throw it when they have to. I think they'll make tackles. What I really loved about last week is the fact that Alabama w- was able to get outside of the hashes and make tackles, which is something we didn't see a lot last year. It felt like every, every time it, the guy would turn the corner and get about 10 yards before he get tackled. So I, I'm with you guys. I feel like Alabama is going to play really good football today, and they're going to win against Texas, and it's going to kind of build momentum into the season so we all take alabama all right reagan tell us what you got going on at rnr cigar reagan tell us after you unmute, unmute yourself. yourself there you go we have the ufc fight live <laughs> right after this game uh israel adesanya uh wizard of ops would probably be better at picking ufc fights than me uh, you know, but uh, Israel Adesanya is fighting some dude named Strickland. We got UFC fights. We've got so much cool stuff. We have the Sunday ticket tomorrow. Uh, watching my Buccaneers, you know, and uh, we got a bunch of cool stuff we have. So come watch UFCs after the game. Come in on Sunday and watch the uh, Sunday ticket. Watch all your favorite games and we're going to be here all weekend long. All right. Thanks, Reagan. And thanks, uh, Kenny. And thanks, everyone, for hanging out with us. Uh, this is really one of the uh, best parts of the show brought to you by Pearl River Resort in Philadelphia, Mississippi. Great time to go to the timeout lounge and make your picks count. And you can do that anytime you want over in Philadelphia, Mississippi. It's our little piece of Vegas that is uh, close to Tuscaloosa. When we come back, we're going to talk about this matchup, Alabama and Texas. So don't go anywhere. More of the original Bama football tailgate show right after this.